Hello everyone, welcome to Coders Camp. We are at 27th day of June Lead Code Challenge and the problem we are going to cover today is candy. So the input given here is an integer array that represents the rating for the children present and we have to return the minimum number of candies we need to distribute to the children. So there are rules to distribute the candies. So the rules are each child must have at least one candy and the children with higher rating get more candies than their neighbors. So let's understand this with an example. So here is a given example. The rating array has three values, which means there are three children with rating 0, 1 and 2. So now we have to distribute the candies to these children and everybody must have at least one candy. So consider we are giving one candy to the lower rating one. So here the lower rating children is 0, which is in the middle. So we are going to give one candy to that child. The neighbor to this uh, children is having the rating 1 and 2. So both of them are having higher rating than its neighbor. So they must deserve more candies than it. So now moving on to the next child with rating 1, we are going to at least give one candy plus it must have an extra candy than its neighbor if its rating is high. Of course the rating is higher than 0, the child deserve one more candy. So it must at least have one and greater than the zeroth child. So it must have 2. So if you move to the child with rating 2, if you consider of giving it 3 candies, but the rule says it must have a candy higher than its neighbor. It doesn't have to deal with its previous ranking or something. So here its neighbor's value is 0, which is having 1 candy. So giving this child 2 candy would work because it must have higher candy than its neighbor and must at least have 1 candy. So following this rules, we have filled another array with value 2, 1, 2 because we are distributing 2 candies, 1 candy and 2 candy to the children with rating 1, 0 and 2. So overall, we have to give 5 candies. That is going to be our output. So how are we going to approach this? So yes, we must be familiar with this approach by now because we have used the same logic to most of our coin change problems and uh, other similar DP problem. Consider this example with rating starting from 1 and the greater rating of 67. So now we have to distribute candies to the children based on its neighbor. So we are going to have two arrays left and right and the left array is going to fill with the number of candies we distribute to the children towards considering the left neighbor of the children. Same way our right array is going to fill based on the right neighbor of the children and overall we are going to get the max of the candies we are going to give the children by comparing both the arrays and calculate the sum of that array. So let's get started by comparing and filling our left array. So as the problem rule said we have to distribute at least one candy to each children we are filling this array with one because all children must be having at least one candy. So let's start filling our left array where we are going to compare its adjacent neighbor to the right and if the right neighbor is having the higher rating, then we are going to distribute more candies. So comparing 12 and 4, actually 4 is lesser rating than 12. So 4 doesn't need any extra candies than 12. So moving on to our next iteration, which is 3. 3 is again less than 4. So 3 also doesn't need extra candies than 4. Moving to 11, 11 is obviously higher rating than 3. So what candies we give to 3 must be less than what we give to 11 or what we give to 11 must be greater than what we give to 3. So in that case, we are going to fill or give one extra candy to the child with rating 11. So instead of 1, we are going to fill this array with 2. Moving on to our next iteration, which is 34, where 34 is obviously higher than 11 and need extra candies than the child with rating 11. So whatever we gave to 11 must be less than what we give to 34. So 11 is having 2, then it must, the 34 must at least have one more candy than 34, sorry 11. So in that case, we are going to fill here 3. So moving to our next value, which is 34, 34 and 34 are equal. So they are not lesser or higher. So in that case, we don't really have to put or give any extra candies to the child with rating 34 than its neighbor. So we are leaving it to 1 only. And the next value is 1, which is actually less than uh, 34. So it doesn't need extra candies than the previous neighbor. And the next value is 67. 1 is less than 67. So obviously what we give to 
67 must be greater than the number of candies present in the child one's place. So the child one is having one candy, so it must at least have one more extra candy. So we are going to fill here two. So yes, we have filled our array based on the values from left to right. So now it's time to consider in reverse order. From the rightmost child, we are going to consider its neighbor of this side and fill the values to the right array. So now it's time to fill our right array, starting from the rightmost ranking to the towards left. And 67 and 1 when compared, 1 is actually lesser value than 67. So 1 doesn't need any extra value than 67's chocolates or candies. So moving on to our next iteration where 1 and 34, where 34 is actually a higher rating. So what we give to 1 must be less than what we give to 34. So 34 deserve an extra candy than 1. So instead of 1, we are going to fill here a right array with 2. Moving on to our 34 next, they both are equal. So they doesn't need any extra candies to be added. So coming to 34 to 11, 11 is actually lesser than 34. So again, we don't have to fill anything. 11 and 3, 3 is actually lesser than 11. So it also doesn't need any extra candies. Moving to 3 and 4, 4 is having extra rating. In that case, we have to fill in with extra candies than what we have for 3. So here we are going to update for 4 with 2 candies because the candies is there for the child with rating 3 is 1, so 4 deserves an extra candy. So again to the next iteration, comparing 4 and 12, uh, four, 12 is obviously higher than 4, so it needs an extra candy than what we gave for child with rating 4. So here again 4 is having 2, so it at least need an extra candy. So in that case, we are going to update it with 3. So yes, we are done updating our values. Now it's time to compare and fill another array or compare and take the maximum value of both the array because we have to distribute the minimum candies and we have to exactly give what as per the rules. So comparing the values, this is going to be 3, 2, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1, 2. So yes, this is the overall candies we distribute to individual child. So some of this is going to be the output what we need because that many number of candies we are going to distribute to the child children. Yes, this is the overall understanding of the logic, how this, this is going to work. So before getting into code, this is going to work in big O of n time complexity as we are going to iterate the ranking array only once. In big O of n space complexity as we are going to use uh, in, integer array of size n twice. So yes, let's go to the code now. So yes, as I said, we are going to have two integer arrays left and right. We are declaring sum, which is what we are going to return as our output finally. So, as I said, we are going to fill both of our arrays with 1. So, now it's time to fill our left array, starting by comparing towards the left side of the given ratings array. So yes, we filled our left array by comparing the adjacent values. If the previous value, if the current value is greater than the previous value, then we are going to update our left array with plus one value. If not, we are going to leave the value as such. Same way, we are going to fill our right value by comparing it in the reverse order. So once we filled our left and right array, it's time to calculate the max of both array and add the sum. And finally, we are returning sum as our output. So we are here iterating our given array uh, for three times, but still constants can be ignored. The time complexity is going to be big O of 3n as we are adding it for three times but the constants will be ignored and the time complexity would be big O of n. So yes, let's run and try. Yes, so let's submit. Yes, our solution is accepted. 
and runs in 2 milliseconds so thanks for watching the video hope you like this video if you like this video hit like subscribe and let me know in comments thank you